22 long rifle, otherwise known as the 22 LR, is a .223 inch diameter bullet. It is a rimmed fired straight case. It has a neck and base diameter of .226 inches and a .278 inch rim diameter. Its overall length, one inch. Invented in 1884, 22LRs typically are 30 to 40 grain bullets, traveling at speeds of 1,000 to 1,700 feet per second, giving off 130 to 190 foot-pounds of energy. And there's been a large variety of 22 caliber rim-fired bullets over the last 150 years, but none like the 22LR. Invented and introduced by the Union Metallic Cartridge Company out of Bridgeport, Connecticut. The invention of the 22 lr was based on the 22 bb cap, also known as the 6mm Flobert, invented by Louise Nicole Flobert in 1845. It was the very first rimfire metallic cartridge. 22 bb cap was a .222 inch diameter bullet with no case, just a percussion cap and a bullet. Really designed for indoor ranges and shooting galleries. The 22 BB cap combined with the bullet shape of the 22 short from 1857 in the parent case of a 22 long, put all these together and what you have is the 22 long rifle. Giving off higher velocities with bigger grain bullets than the 22 long or the 22 extra long, ultimately making both of those obsolete. The Union Metallic Cartridge Company was established in 1867 by the Schuler, Hartley, and Graham Sporting Goods Store out of New York City, who started manufacturing metallic cartridge bullets in 1866. The Union Metallic Cartridge Company built the largest shot tower in Connecticut, dropping molten lead from over 130 feet to water below, creating thousands of .22 inch diameter bullets with each drop. Schuler, Hartley, and Graham purchased Remington and Sons in 1888 and formed Remington Arms, which started Remington UMC, which produced ammunition out of the Bridgeport factory until 1988. Because of the performance of the 22 r this bullet took off. Typical performance you can expect out of the 22 lr is a 2.7 inch rise at 50 yards, a 10.8 inch drop at 150 yards, and typically you want to zero a 22 lr rifle at 75 yards. It's ideal for small game hunting. The 22 lr is not recommended for large game. However, the largest animals killed with the 22 lr was a grizzly bear with one shot and an elephant with multiple shots. This ideal bullet really comes down to shot placement. Its effectiveness and weight sizes allows you to put a thousand of them in your pocket. Regarding self-defense, most firearm enthusiasts recommend not using a 22 lr as a self-defense weapon. I happen to disagree because it comes down to shot placement. Many argue the lack of recoil and the faster follow-up shots makes it an awesome self-defense weapon. The 22 lr is so quiet that fired out of something like a CZ-452 Ultralux with a 20-inch barrel Using subsonic rounds is as quiet as a suppressed Marlin 22 lr 22 lr has taken on a cult fame with movies involving spies, lost behind enemy lines, mafia, survivalist, the list goes on and on regarding social entertainment using the 22 lr and rightfully so. More people are killed with the 22 lr than any other bullet. And there's more 22 lr bullets sold than all other bullets combined. Popularity has brought this bullet into the front of small game hunting, target shooting, the biathlon, plinking. Regardless of its popularity, it is awesome. It's not heavily used in the military, however many police departments and military units use semi-automatic 20 lrs for riot control. Or many pilots are issued suppressed 22 lr pistols for survival if shot down. Popularity of the 22 lr has also led the way for many gun manufacturers offering 22 lr conversions for their firearms within popular firearms like AR-15s, 1911s, and the CZ-75. And most make 22 lr pistols or rifles, including Ruger, Sig Sauer, Glock, and on and on. Because of cost and performance and ease of noise and recoil, the 22 lr still remains the most popular ammo sold and probably will for some time.
If you like this video, click like and subscribe. And thank you for watching this episode of the History of Weapons.